because you know that. Yeah, yeah, I've watched everything. <laughs> searched everything. <laughs> well, listen, you're a fucking big fella up close, isn't it? It's the first time I've met you. That's the Giants, isn't it? Well, listen. The heavyweight division has changed it up. He's probably the finest man in boxing, isn't he? Let's go. Get up there, my boy. <laughs> so, you did for training camp already? No, or is that wrong with boxing? Oh, okay, okay. My youngest like boxing, oh, okay, yeah. Cool, sweet. No, oh, yeah, I'm glad to meet you, AJ. Wait, you did it already? You did it already? Yeah, he's in there just taking a few pictures. Pleasure to meet you as well, sir. I'm gonna do my, um, I'm gonna do these photo shoots and then slip off. God, God bless you, yeah. God bless Which you. Good luck. Yeah. See you soon. All the best. You're short, huh? You like the short one, right? Uh, this is the, for the photo shoot, John. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd love to sit down and speak with you one day. Well, I want to say welcome. lots here for the fight. You're welcome. Yeah. I've always liked you, Mr. Business. I'm like you. I'm proud of everything you've done, though, man. Honestly. Listen. You, your family, and all that. I can see you being a world champion. You know what it is, huh? You, yeah, imagine when you were younger, you had your kids, and now yeah. it's fucking crazy. Well, listen, I'm only a madman, I'm not, listen. <laughs> You're not. I'm just proud right. of my sons, you're not calling it, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, People like that, your whole family would be proud of you. Well, that's how I am, they find that like problem trade of people, don't they? <laughs> it's crazy. What were you as you born? 65. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, like, when you're born, like... Yeah. I'm born 68, but yeah. I don't look like this. It's crazy, isn't it? He looks, too, he looks 30. <laughs> <laughs> I look 70. <laughs> What's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, wow, wow, this just shows you, yeah, now, I'm not even going to talk about AJ, yeah, AJ, he's been a politician, even a even when AJ is fighting, AJ can fight someone and try to be their friend, do you understand, in fact, he can fight someone in the prep, no, sorry, AJ can have a fight, since time began, really, I mean, the only fight that rings a bell was probably Dillian White won. Sorry, yeah, Dillian White. That's when it was it. But even then, yeah, he smoked, dude. But he didn't roll him up after the fight, did he? You know what I mean? AJ should have really jumped on the mic and said, hey, yo, that's what we be doing to fake yardies. Do you know what I mean? One of them ones. Or before the fight, Dillian White was going off, oh, he's not really, he's a fake Nigerian. I'd say, listen, you fake yardy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? AJ's not really his name, not Joshua's name, all these kind of what listen, it's a fight. I like what Dillian does. But ultimately, yeah, AJ ended up rolling up, yeah, some like Jamaican high grade and smoking on it. That's a fact. Is it not? Did AJ or did AJ not roll up some of that J A high grade and smoke on it? Hundred percent. He stay smoking on that one. Yeah? Pop Dillian White, fake Yardy looking out as Cherry, popped it. That is what happened. So, I've gone the long way around there of getting to my point. My point is, AJ, he always nice to everyone. Yeah? He nice to everyone. He nice to Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby punch him up. The second fight, he goes in there and he's still trying to be friends with dude. Call me a liar. Yeah? AJ versus Ruiz 2 looked like the kind of fight that... It's one of them ones where, I don't know, when Crawford fought Porter, them two are good friends. And after the fight, Crawford was... Well, I think there's been loads of examples, but when someone fights a friend or people allege, I don't think it's the case. People say, well, YB, Fury went easy on Chisora. I don't believe that. I believe Fury can't punch. But let's just take the... I mean, in fact, no. We can use Fury and Chisora. Fury and Chisora too. Fury was in there in the latter rounds and he was begging the referee, please stop it. One of them ones. Yeah, that's AJ. He tried to be friendly with everyone. Don't matter what happened. It don't matter what you've done to AJ. He tried to be friendly with you. Um, so to see AJ smiling and politicking, that's to be expected. He can't even turn it on when he getting punched up, right? He can't even get vicious when he punched up. He can't even get vicious after Mister Blobby took all his belts and popped his cherry. Do you understand? So this is to be expected. The issue is with John. Mr. Big, whatever, a flapper. The amount he talks. Do you know, the amount he talks. Oh, if this, he's been, John Fury's been gunning for AJ since, I think, 2015. Since he got out of jail. I remember when Fury beat Klitschko and John was there saying, oh, we've come back to Britain and no one cares. Like, if AJ had beat Klitschko, beat the champion of the last 10 years, then... The Queen would get her Rolls Royce out and pick him up from the airport. All that kind of just, I'm not sure what you'd call it. Just uh, jealousy to some extent. Over the years, bodybuilder, all that kind of stuff. And then you see the dude, and John's like this. John looking like 
a 2015 Justin Bieber fan. Do you understand? This grin is, oh my God. Yeah, he, he looking like a Taylor Swift, a Swifty, 100%. A Taylor Swift groupie. Wow, kind of, the only thing that was missing here, oh, can I get a picture and an autograph? It probably happened off camera. For <laughs> You know, you can't stop. You know John was begging for a photo and autograph. Do you know what I mean? And the worst part was when he goes towards the end. He's like, oh, sorry about the things I said. It's only business. Like, That's corny, man. That's whack. That is the truth, though. The truth is these guys are all friends behind the scenes, yeah? The truth is all these men are being, fact or not, call me a lot. Fact or not, all these men are being flown out to Saudi, yeah? They're all part of the same little clique, so to speak. They all know how to go down. The coin clique, essentially. I will do anything for coin clique. Yeah? If you put enough coin down, my big six foot five looking ass going to be in Saudi. And my booty going to be popping. Yeah? Fraser Clark, 100%. Um, so that's what it is, people. There is no... all this. A lot of you man get bought into it. Oh, even I do, but I do it to... For the sake of doing it right, I don't really believe it. I don't really believe there's any animosity, even AJ and Dillian White. Even after AJ knocked out the fake Yardy, yeah, in the second fight, Dillian White was there saying, oh, it's all business and we're all friends. There's no real, there's no real dudes. Think about Eubank and Nigel Benn, for example. Them dudes, 20 years later, was on Gladiator Show and still trying to run it. Do you understand? They were still beefing. 20 year later, <laughs> well, 10, 15, 20 year later, still beefing. It's only now when they're knocking into their 60s that um, they've moistened up, which is natural, it's normal. No one's as hardcore as they are, but these guys don't, these guys aren't even hardcore in their prime. Canelo, Carrot Top, he ain't hard in his prime. Yeah? Most of these men, not hard in their prime. John Fury, not hard in his prime. Fact. Not one bare knuckle fight has John Fury had. Not one, the Black Skellington. John Fury versus Henry Akinwande, a.k.a. the Black Skellington. Knock his ass out of a rangefinder. Ross Gerber, Team Lighty. Knock his ass out, spark out, toes curling out. Do you understand, people? And all this rah-rah John Fury been waffling about for the last decade. He see AJ in person and he political with it. Ooh. I don't care, why be you'd do nothing. I'm saying I would, but John Fury won't. Doing too much. And then standing there like, like a six-year-old on Christmas morning. Just grinning teeth. Wow, like, oh, what did he say at the start? Oh, you're the best looking heavyweight or something. <laughs> Zest as well. Like, damn. I'll tell you this for free, yeah. I never seen dude. Not one dude have I seen him and said, you're the best looking one. You know what I mean? 100%. Why would, it, why would I need to tell next man he's the best looking? Let me replay it again. It was something like that. Let me t make it smaller so there's no violation here. I'm not trying to get... The YB ain't trying to get his little coins snatched. You know what I mean? One of them ones, 100%. <laughs> well, listen, you fucking big fellow close, isn't it? You first time I've met you, you landed the Giants, isn't it? Well, listen. The heavyweight division has changed a lot. He's probably the finest man in boxing, isn't he? Let's go. Get up there, my boy. Get up there, my boy. Let's go. He's the finest man. Listen, the heavyweight division has changed a lot. He's probably the finest man in boxing, isn't he? Let's go. This man's the finest man in boxing, isn't he? Or something like that. Zest. Do you know what I'm saying? Wow, who would have guessed that? Who would have guessed John Fury being in a video saying, Oh, you're, big, you're a big bugger, aren't you? Oh, you're the finest man in boxing. Sound to Listen. Listen, people. John Fury has been in Saudi as well. That's what we know for a fact. Yeah, this is zestified, the whole situation. Now everyone thinking, oh, you, you don't know what they've experienced, do you? Oh, he's a fine man. A big, he's a big fine bugger, ain't he? Each, each to their own, but John, man, stop it now. Stop now. Drop the hard man talk. You ain't trying to fight none. You ain't gonna, John, you ain't going to fight no one. You ain't going to do nothing. Apart from flip a table at a press conference. That's the truth. Yeah, you ain't fighting nothing. AJ, I'm not saying, oh, I do you expect John Fury to put it on... AJ, in fact, what do I expect? What did I expect? Not this, that's for sure. It's almost like John was starstruck, but you'd think, your son's Tyson. Yeah, is AJ bigger brand-wise? Maybe, kind of, to some extent, but at this point, don't get me wrong, in 2017, 2018, there was no doubt. 
AJ was two, three levels above what Fury is, but now after losing, it's probably, and, and after Netflix or whatever, it's probably 50 50, right? Maybe because Fury is a current champion, you'd give him the edge kind of thing. But John Fury is starstruck. He's like, whoa, here's the big bugger, the big finest man in boxing looking at us. So it's all fake, is the point I'm making it, people. Don't buy into the beefs. You really have to rate what you see in the ring. That's the only thing that's quantifiable here. We assume. Who knows if fights are fixed? But assuming fights aren't fixed, don't judge things before a fight. And that's one thing you can kind of respect AJ for. Well, AJ, he won't talk a big game. But then again, he don't turn up either. So it's difficult. But really, there's a lot of wafflers out there. John Fury, the number one waffler. Just talk too much. There's way too much talking. And nothing else. Fact. Like I, we've seen it before. Now, would it have been respectful? Probably not. But John Fury, for example, if AJ had it pulled up, John Fury could have said something like, "Hey, listen, this guy can't be around me because if you know what I mean, there's, I'm I'm liable to be going back to jail if you put dude around me." At least give us some of them bars. I'd say, "Listen, he's full of John. Ain't gonna do nothing, but at least he's consistent with it." Do you understand? Uh, you better not bring his big ass, big fine ass around me, because we know what's going to happen. You see, you see what happened to the last dude? His nose missing. What was it? He gouged his, his eye missing. Yeah, the last dude who come near me, who ain't supposed to be around me, lost an eye. That's what happened. I'm just telling you what the judge said. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. The judge ruled his eye was missing. Yeah? So I suggest, Eddie Hearn, you keep your big, fine looking heavyweight away from me. Because I'm fixing to do another five year stretch. You understand? He ain't say that. He is there like swifting out. John Fury, John Taylor Swift Fury out there like, ooh, you're a big bugger, aren't you? Ooh, you're the finest man in boxing. John, just come out and say you want to blow, dude. That's what, you know what? That's what I'm looking for. Rather than do all this talking, just say, just say, listen, AJ, you're a big bull, a big pretty looking bull, and I don't mind blowing you. He may as well have more concise right this was a 90 second video there weren't no need for 90 seconds just say you want to blow the man that's what I, John could have said listen boxing news don't put the camera on or put the camera on I've got a 10 minute short YouTube shorts were made for a reason people for these kind of things keep it punchy keep it to the point yeah we all got the point anyway AJ would you mind if I take you around the corner and blow you quick yeah because you are the finest man in boxing how many words is that what 12 words AJ, I want to blow you. You are... Wait there. AJ, I want to blow you. You are the finest man in boxing. 13 words. Simple. What's that? Five seconds. AJ, you're the finest man in boxing. I want to blow you. Boom. We get it. 100%. He may as well have said that. Instead, he waffling on. But anyway... Um, it's all business in the day, but if it, it's not, that's not even the case, though. Unfortunately, John, it's not all business because Fury and AJ would do the big money, would do the big business, and Fury don't want it. Now, whatever people say about AJ, myself included, AJ does he turn up? Does he lose his head? We don't know. We'll find out in the next fight. Oh, well, sorry, he does lose his head. He lost his head in Ruiz too. Even if he won the fight, his head would have lost, in my opinion. He lost his head in Usyk one and two. Yeah. He lost his head in Robert Elenius. That's because he won the fight by knockout. His head was lost, people. Watch it back. Yeah, there was nothing inspiring about any of them performances. Is he back from the Wallin fight? Time will tell. Nonetheless, he gets in the ring and he fights. Fury, it's not about business. Well, it is actually. It's about business as much as... Much as it's, not as it's not about making the most money. It's about self-preservation. Adjusted buy money if Fury can make 10 mil fighting Chisora and 20 fighting AJ he thinks well I can fight Chisora three times a year and make 30 mil and have no risk so yeah anyway let me know your thoughts people so smash the like button subscribe and let off the bell 100% no doubt